I welcome you to another Friday tonic. It's Friday, it's Friday. Let's drink our tonic together. It's Friday. I love Fridays because I know the next day Saturday, I'm sorry, I'm not going to work. <laughs> I love it. This is Language Jones, and I'm your digital professor. My name is Josephine. This channel is a knowledge economy. On Tuesday, I teach a course. If any of my area of special speciality, my area of speciality, philosophy of religion and theology. We are still in the new year. We are basking it, but gradually, you know, the first month of this new year is gradually going to the middle. We thank God for sustaining us so far. I want to employ my viewers, especially those who are new, to go back and watch some of my old videos. How oh God, they are wonderful. For those who want or who intend to learn something in environmental philosophy of religion and ecotology, who wants to learn something in philosophy of religion, who wants to learn something in metaphysics or metaphysical issues or metaphysical philosophy of religion, who wants to learn something free will and determinism. Check my old videos of last year, 2022. And my Friday tonic, we have covered so many topics, so many topics that are very germane, that are very good. Today, I'm going to talk an issue we should all know. I mean, there are kinds of people. <laughs> there are different people. Let me put it that way. Some people are just caustic. They are toxic. They are lizard. They are personals. Let me put it that way. How do you get yourself out of the web of toxic people? We call it gray rocking. Gray rocking. That's it. By gray rocking them, you could get toxic people out of your life. And that's what I'm going to talk to about today. But before I go on, let's join languages. It's good to join languages. I welcome you back. Honestly, this is my channel. I need to thank you all, my viewers, my subscribers who have sustained me now. We are a year, we are over a year now. Precisely by December 13, we are one year old. And we are starting a new year now. And for those who have not subscribed, just look at that. Red boring subscribe button and subscribe. And for those who are subscribed, you are not getting notifications. It's because your notification button is not on. And anytime in any of my videos, check the description link. There are so many things that you might learn, you might gain from the links I normally put there, especially in my email for you to contact me. Honestly, like I was saying, a lot of people are hurting, a lot of people are suffering, a lot in silence. They don't have nobody to talk to. They don't, they're looking for somebody who will hear them out, who could give good advice, quality advice. Are you a elderly person? Are you alone? You need someone to talk to? That's why I said this year, I'm starting what I call Christian counseling and therapy. It's private, it's on one-to-one, -one. it's secret. 
I have a listening ear, I have a quiet mouth, nobody is going to hear you, but I'll be there for you, listening to you. And because I've been trained, I'm a theologian, a published theologian. I have several, because even I'm an evangelist, ordained evangelist. I'm trained in deliverance, spiritual deliverance method. I'm trained in uh, counseling and things like that. Apart from my PhD in philosophy of religion and theology. My master's in biblical studies. So talking about Christian counseling, I could help you with the word of God because when you come to Christ, is the master, is the only healer, is only one that could solve your problem. Nobody else can. We look into the scriptures together, we talk about it together. And I guarantee you, Jesus Christ will touch you because he's a God of miracle. I serve a God of miracle and I believe in it. Bro, is going to, because it's private, it's going to cost you. But you're not going to pay through your nose, it's not going to cost you so much. Just minimum to make sure you too, you know. You, what you are ready for, you are really ready for it. Because every, anything that is free, people take it with a pinch of salt. You don't really touch it. So today, I'm talking on gray rocking. Gray rocking. Gray rocking means how you can get toxic people out of your life. And I want to follow me. I think I have just about four slides or so to show you about it. But when I'm serious about points, I want you to see it with yourself. Let me put it down like a blur point. So that I'm talking, you are reading it yourself. You understand exactly what I'm saying. So hold on, as I show you those bullet points. Gray rocking is best for toxic, poisonous, or lethal, caustic people. In your life, I mean, there is, I mean, at times you cannot do without these people. They are there either in your family, they are there either as friends, they are there either as neighbors. But you know, they are just little, they are just toxic, bringing a kind of unhappiness to your life. So, how do you gray rock them out of your life? Gray rocking is a technique used to divert a toxic person's behavior by acting as unresponsive as possible when interacting with them. You can give yourself peace of mind. You can give yourself the joy of the Lord by gray rocking toxic people out of your life. It might involve showing little or no emotion, avoiding as much eye contact as possible, providing only neutral, factual answers to questions because some of them like to really ask questions, but bad do with things. Maybe they know themselves, or even I can't, I don't want to say useless questions that you don't, but by being not too concerned, provide them answers to that questions. Avoid talking about your personal life. Don't ever make a mistake of discussing your personal life with a toxic person. Suppose a colleague approaches you to gossip about another co-worker. You respond with a simple, oh, I don't know them. And excuse yourself by doing another task. Some people like to talk about others behind their backs. So when they come to you like that, I'll start gisting you about, don't show interest. Because the way it's gisting you about somebody else is the way she will go to that person and gist that person about you. Or if they come to tell you, I have a way of getting them off myself. Even though when you come and say something about I say, I'm sorry, but can you say it exactly in front of that person? I like to call out, call him in so that we can discuss together, all of us. Can you repeat it? If that person cannot repeat it, right in front of that person, then you know that person is just toxic. You just let go. You don't listen. You gray rock them out of your life. The idea behind the approach is that toxic people feed off drama and you don't want to give them drama to feed on. 
They like drama. For whatever reason, they enjoy attention and chaos. Even if it's harmful and destructive, they just like it. They like when people are fighting each other. They like people when there's chaos. They like people when they are having drama. That's the, that's what makes them all. That's what makes them happy. So don't feed them with drama. You train them to see you as not worth bothering with by denying them the emotional charge they seek. It's like when your phone is flat and you want to charge it to increase your battery level. Don't charge, don't let them, they get charged. When you give them attention, you listen to toxic people, you are charging them. Don't give them that opportunity. Let them know that you are not that kind of person who talks behind anybody's back. You are not that kind of person who gossip about others. Hopefully, they give up and move on to someone else. Because if they see you are not responsive to what they are, every time they come to you, you are very cold, you don't get interested, they use the children, they lose, they lose interest in you and go to someone else. Or ideally get someone else to heal whatever is driving their problematic behavior. But that's not your responsibility. Any kind of attention, even negative, is good for a narcissist. And they will take over no attention at all. Explains therapist Oli Richman in the USA Today article, focusing on how technology plays out in personal relationship. The gray rock method works because it's the most minimal amount you can offer. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just to gray rock them and they get bored or lose interest in manipulating you. There are limits of the gray rocket. If therapists suggest this method can be effective for dealing with guarding the writing of his drama or a manipulative coworker, they also stress that the approach has its limits. It has its limits. First, why it often works in the medium and longer term, being ignored can tick off toxic colleagues temporarily, causing them to escalate their attention-seeking antics temporarily. Just wear them out, wear them out, and they can, and they should go away, you know, they should go away. But that patient does come at a psychic cost to you. Even more importantly, all the experts stress that no one should feel they have no control themselves or their behavior to deal with other people's abuse, discrimination, physical threat, or intimidation. So if you are the victim of any of these behaviors, it's time to find a way to exceed the relationship despite the costs and hassles. No matter what kind of relation you are built up with such a person, it might be time for you to exceed it for your peace of mind. But for those unfortunate to be forced by circumstances to deal with everyday toxic people, because if it's a coworker, I mean, no matter how you like it, you have to continue to work together. Consider giving the gray rock method a try by denying manipulators a response. You will hopefully find you have to deal with much less of their nonsense going forward. I've come to the end of Grey Rocket, but I want to introduce to you the books that are beneficial and quality spiritual books for Christian disciples. Learn the diversities and the entrapment of Salem and get your victory in Jesus' name. These books are available on Amazon. You have The Organic Faith and Discipleship by J. Bade. Satan is not Robin opponent by Josephine Shoboyejo. How I Experience God by J. Bade. Encounter with the Devil by J. Bade. There are other books of Josephine Shoboyejo on Amazon, even e-books that cost less than $5. I mean, snack today will cost more than that. So if you have the e-book, you can carry it around and buy it. So many spiritual formation books, one and two. 
the disciple of substance. Anthology of the biblical doctrine and morality. So many just in Shobayo's book. But these books are very good. They're beneficial to you. If you like, you take a look at them, you can buy. They'll be useful for you. I guarantee you that. I've come to the end of this Friday tonic. I want to wish you a fantastic, fantabulous, exciting weekend. But please, if by chance you have anybody who is toxic in your life, they rock that person out of your life. It's better. This is 2023. Make a fresh start. Okay? Make a fresh start and give yourself peace and joy of the Lord. Thank you for joining me this Friday. I hope you love the Friday tonic.